World Congress 2016 introduced two great flagship smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the LG G5. And from the looks of it, they want to popularize the notion of having this always on display. Now we've already seen the S7, we reviewed it so we know what it's capable of, but now it's time for the LG G5. We have a pre-production in our hand, so we're going to show exactly how the two compare. At their core, they both offer the convenience of getting quick lenses for the time, date, and notifications. It just beats the process of having to physically press the power button to view that. Now, this is an evolution. We've seen this already in other devices like their smartwatches, but it's now in full form here with both handsets. There are also some concerns about power consumption, but based on what the companies tell us, it's not really greatly impacted. We know that they utilize different display technologies. You have a Super AMOLED panel in the Galaxy S7 and an IPS LCD based one in the G5. Now with the G5, since it is an LCD panel, it means that the whole panel is turned on just to display the relevant information. Whereas with the Galaxy S7 and AMOLED screens in general, you can light up individual pixels. Now in the dark, they're more than visible. We have no issues whatsoever viewing them. Even on cloudy days, they're more than legible. But as we look closer, we do notice that the S7 is noticeably more potent and brighter. So that offers better clarity and definition. In comparison, the G5 is a little bit more subdued. It's still visible, but subdued nonetheless. And when we look at the display in a dark room, we can make out the milky gray color with the rest of the screen. At the core of it all, you're going to be able to view the time, date, and some notification icons directly through the display without having to physically interact with it. That's the neat thing about these always on display features. However, with the G5, it has only one clock style that can't be changed. There is an option for a signature, so you could have your name, some sort of quote, or even a witty remark, but that is it. There's nothing else there. Meanwhile, the S7 just offers a multitude of different styles for the clock, which is nice. And there's even a diff uh, different options for the calendar, and you even have the option to choose an image. So overall, you do have more personality with the S7's interpretation. Based on what we're seeing right now, the S7 offers the more compelling interpretation. There's a lot more to choose from, and that's nice because a variety is always a good thing. And on top of that, the screen itself is more, it's brighter, more clearly defined, and just more distinctive. And those are just key things that make it stand out. Meanwhile, for the LG G5, things might change between now and whenever the final product launches. But with this pre-production model that we're checking out here, it still has a lot of work to do before it catches up to what Samsung has already done with the S7.